Hey Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey everyone, Matt and Apple here. Welcome to episode 150. Wow, 150? Yeah, 150. Um, you know, what's funny is we did this big celebration for 50. We did a big celebration for 100. And now 150 is just like, okay, it's the next one. I think probably we'll do something for 200. I don't know. We'll we're see. celebrating by having Patrick here. That's what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and with that, um, our returning guest, Patrick, is here with us. Patrick, if you don't mind introducing yourself for new snackers, and then we'll get into our uh, CCNA update conversation. Sure, sure. Um, I've got a bit of a tradition of having a bit of an intro song. Um, I just want to make sure we have that playing as well in the background. <laughs> so episode 150, my name is Patrick Gargano. I'm a content developer with learning and certifications. I'm part of the team that build content and, and uh, build that content for Cisco U. And in particular today, we want to talk a little bit about the new content for the CCNA update. So, so we just had uh, Mubashar um, on to talk to us about the updates for the new um, CCNA uh, V1.1 certification updates. Um, and so I'm excited to see kind of how we're digging into the learning path to, to support that. Yeah, and that's where I wanted to maybe start actually um, in, in terms of, of, of what, what the content looks like. So a blueprint comes out or an update to a blueprint comes out, obviously that feeds directly into our content. We wanna make sure that our content gets you ready, uh, not just to sit and pass an exam, but obviously for the, for the work environment, for, for a job, uh, where you're gonna be needing to do some of, this, of these things. And, and I know you've, you know, episode 149, you've talked a lot about the blueprint with Mubasher. I just wanted to kind of remind folks that it is a minor update, right? From version 1.0 to 1.1. I think Kareem and Matt, you guys had a, another episode a while, you know, a couple of weeks ago where you talked a bit about this. People were worried, people were concerned, and, and hopefully when they've looked at this, they've realized actually, okay, um, you know, if I am in the middle of studying for 1.0 and, and I decide I want to wait for 1.1, which comes out August 20th, I think, I think I can get there, right? It's not that bad or, or, or that big of a stretch. So as you can see, there's there's a little bit of extra spanning tree stuff that was added to the 1.1. Obviously that 6.4 item is the AI and machine learning item that, that's very popular. Um, and the 2.8 and the 6.4, they, they kind of go hand in hand. So we removed the specific call out for DNA Center and, and the blueprint, and instead yeah. kind of opened it up to, to look at all the other types of of management solutions or network solutions that that we have, right? So things like uh, SD WAN and SDA and Meraki as well. So I think I think this is really interesting. I think it gives us a bit more flexibility and uh, to, you know to bring in some of these newer technologies and not just focus on well what was DNA Center and, and now is Catalyst Center. And then that last one there, obviously, where we took out Puppet and Chef and added some Terraform. So so you you know about this. We've been talking about this since it came out um, a few weeks ago. And, uh, I, you know, shameless plug, we've got a webinar coming up uh, on the 30th of July. I'm going to be on that with uh, with Jeff, and, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the content and the exam again. So feel free to register for that. It's it's free. But that, with the little bit of time that we have on, on, on the episode today, what I wanted to have a look at in particular is the new learning path that we decided to design and, and build for you um, to be able to learn the, the new content um, and get ready for that version 1.1 exam. As somebody that's maybe taking the, the current learning path, is, a, is there a huge update? Is it a really brand new or is it just an augmentation of what we currently have? Yeah, so, so there's a couple of things. There's a structural change. Um, what we realized is that the current learning path had few tra fewer tracks but they were longer tracks. So, so again, just to remind folks, so what you're noticing here is an entire learning path. The, the verticals are tracks and then each box is a course within that track. And so we had fewer tracks that were much longer, which meant that our, our post assessment within each track was quite quite massive, you know, long, long uh, exams at the end of each one. So what we did is we decided to kind of make it a little bit easier to consume um, easier to get a sense that you're actually progressing more quickly through the content and, and splitting it up a little bit more logically as well. So it, it is picking up all that content that existed in that previous learning path, which was what we call the 2.0 learning path, and now it's called 2.1. And then you can see what I've done. I've, I've grayed out some of the boxes that are either new boxes or where we've added a little bit of extra content. So it's it's not it's not massive, right? It was a minor update so to, to the exam blueprint, so it's a minor update to 
um, to the learning path itself. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm looking at this learning path uh, and I'm getting a little excited to get my CCNA at Dirty Little Secrets Neckers. I've never been CCNA certified. <laughs> you do realize you've been saying that every single time we talk about a CCNA. Talk. Fine. This is for the new snackers then. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right, Patrick, I killed your flow. Why don't you jump into the path here? No, no worries. No worries. Um, and so what I want to do is just kind of give a, a quick summary of what those changes are. And then I'm going to jump into Cisco U and show you what that new learning path looks like and also where the new content is. Um, and what the, the new content actually looks like as well. So you can see there's you know six of these grayed out boxes where we've made either some changes or added some some new content. And so let's let's kind of break this down a little bit. So first thing we did is we actually touched all of the courses. So obviously all the boxes here, these are all courses. All of those boxes, we've updated the intros for each one. Um, to, to create something a little bit more engaging, a little bit more, you know, scenario based to try to maybe contextualize, you know, this course focuses on this thing, how would it apply in a real world scenario? But we didn't stop there. Um, we've been receiving a lot of feedback about folks struggling with understanding how our different courses within that learning path map to the blueprint, right? People need to get a sense that they're progressing in their, in their learning and how it maps to the, um, to the exam topics. So what we've done, and then I'll, I'll show you this in just a second, is we've actually added exam topic mapping in the intros for each one of these courses as well. So that as you're studying, if you're using that as like a checklist to make sure that you know what you're, uh, you know, where you are in, in your progress, um, it'll it'll help you quite a bit. Obviously, that second bullet is is the big one there, right? We've added a whole new course around AI and ML and network operations. And obviously that maps to the, the blueprint item that we've talked about earlier. One of the, the big changes is that, you know, I was looking at this course that used to be called Explaining the Evolution of Intelligent Networks. And it was a huge course. It was all the programmability stuff was in there and all the SDN stuff was in there. And it was, it was a lot to go through in one course. So we decided just basically to split it and to update the content. So we've expanded and improved the network programmability bit and also expanded the SDN bit as well. So instead of one massive course, we split that into two smaller chunks. So it's a bit easier for you guys to, to consume. Again, there's some new spanning tree stuff that we've added and, and I've already mentioned that one as well. So that's that's been added to the learning path in, in the spanning tree course. Already mentioned this as well, right? We've added a little bit of Meraki. We've updated to Catalyst Center, updated the Catalyst SD WAN, and, and updated the SD Access as well um, in the SDN course. And then obviously we added Terraform. But by removing Puppet and Chef, it gave us a bit of flexibility, and we decided to expand the Ansible content. Um, it, you know, it's not it, it's not that they've added more exam topics. It's just that Ansible is so big in, in the industry, right? A lot of people are using it in networking. Mm -hmm. We felt it was worth actually um, giving it a bit more space in, in the CCNA course itself. And then a little bit of bonus content. Um, you guys probably all, already heard about CML, or Cisco Modeling Labs. We've got some brand new courses that came out in Cisco U to help you understand how to use it, how to leverage it how it works. Um, they're all kind of uh, fantastic courses, and I'll, I'll show you one in just a second. But anyways, we, we wanted to add a little bit of CML in the CCN as well, just to give you a sense of, of what it is, how it works, and, and where you can go and get further training on that. And then in the last one there, we, we wanted to add a little bit of the web UI interface in the Managing Cisco Devices course. So there we go. So that's very, any questions about that one, or um, is, is, that, is that making sense as well? No, that makes a lot of sense. I'm actually, um, I think it makes a lot of sense to also have that Cisco Modern Lab uh, content piece in in this because it's um, it's not only a great tool for you know as you're starting off, but it's also a great tool to have access to and have um, have it in your you know toolbox as you're progressing through your career because it has a lot of capabilities and so. Getting to know that and, and you know it's at, at the at, at the NA level is is important. So I'm glad you guys made that decision. Sure. Patrick, do we get a sneak peek? Yeah, you do. Yes, for sure, for sure. Let me jump into that right away. Um, and again, I, I know you know this is just a bit of a teaser for some stuff we'll talk about on the webinar on on the thirtieth. Um, so I mean, we're talking about a lot of CML. I just want to show folks something very very quickly if, if I can. So 
Now, I've logged into Cisco U and I've searched for CML. And I just want to point out that right, there's a few CML courses, but I want to really point out this one right here. And obviously, these were all developed by Hank Preston, which is our our guy, right? Um, Who? This one is free, folks, okay? There's um, anyone can jump into this the CML course. There's 21 labs in this thing. Um, and it's it's they spin up really really quickly. It's a virtual um, you know a virtual server that spins up with CML, and and you can see I mean all of the courses contain labs in this. So you learn about how CML works, how to you know spin up a, a topology, how to configure it, and, and everything. This is again sorry I, I know that I'm repeating myself, but this is free. Um, so please do have a look at this um, if if uh, if you're interested in, in CML. Yeah, these are actually great. Um, that your did I hear this correctly? These are free. I think they're free. <laughs> Just this one, right? If I go back, if I go back to my search, right? You can I search for CML up here. This one it says free right here. This is the free. One. So if you have a free okay. tier of Cisco U, you can go in here and off you go. Nice. Give them a taste. Give them a taste, cream. <laughs> no, this is this is awesome. I'm I'm actually I didn't know that we have a CML that's free. So I'm I'm gonna go take it. And, and so here's, uh, again, this is going to go live um, at, at the end of July, the, the, the entire learning path for, again, version 2.1. And I know there's a bit of confusion here, right? We talk about a blueprint and blueprint versioning and learning path versioning. So the blueprint went from 1.0 to 1.1. The learning path is going from 2.0 to 2.1. Um, and you can kind of see right on, on the side here all of the different tracks that I, I, I previewed a few seconds ago in my PowerPoint slide. So network fundamentals, network access, IP addressing, right through to evolution of network operations. And a little bit of time that we've got left, I just want to show you um, folks what what that the, the new exam topics look like in the intros for these courses. So I just clicked the uh, the new SDN course that we created. So we've got, a, we've got an intro here to the course, right? Imagine you're a conductor, right? It's trying to create a bit of a scenario for um, how you would use SDN in your network. But what I want to point out is down here. So We've added this, this stuff here at the bottom to every course to really show you which exam items or blueprint items map to that specific course. Um, and, and so we've done that across the board for, for all, the, um, all the courses in the, in the learning path. Yeah, I want to call out one thing to our snackers that I gleaned right there when you were talking, Patrick. And you mentioned it very specifically, but I want to reiterate it. The, the learning path um, versioning is different than this than the actual certification versioning. So yeah. um, just to be clear, Snackers, it doesn't mean that there's a CCNA2 or a CCNA2.1. Uh, the learning path itself is versioned that way. Exactly, exactly. Um, this is the brand new uh, redesigned, rebuilt, re-updated, whatever you want to call it, content on programmability. Uh, it, so you can see it's it's quite a little bit more you know, quite a bit more detailed than it was previously when it was all combined in that one larger course. And again, just wanted to point out at the end of the introduction, right that um, that mapping to the exam uh, blueprint item. So as you can see, it's talking about the one dot one exam, and those are the items there from the exam itself. This is I I like this. This is something that we've been hearing a lot from our snackers, our community. Um, you know, our customers talking to them at Cisco Live, yeah. being able to get the, the Cisco U uh, learning and certification official training that maps to the blueprints that we release as well. Um, so congratulations to the team for doing so. This is this is pretty awesome. Yeah, no, it was, we heard the same messaging as well. People really wanted to understand where all the pieces fit together, right, between the blueprint and, and the course. And hopefully that's that's happening here. I'm definitely yeah, a value add. Really exciting. So, snackers, check out the uh, webinar uh, that is that is coming up. Yes. And check out all the cool material that Patrick started to show us today, um, and and prep for that new uh, CCNA cert uh, coming in August in uh, or next month. Patrick, thank you again for coming on and, and keeping us a, a abreast of all of the new changes going on in in learning and certs world. And uh, snackers, we'll see you guys next time. It's good to have you on, Patrick. Thanks, Kareem. Thanks, Matt. Cheers. Thank you, Snackers.